Uh, now that I'm here, let me take this opportunity to present the Muppet Show's resident artist, Gonzo the Great! Uh, oh, thank you! Thank you very much! Thank you! Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I will eat this rubber tire to the music of the flight of the bumblebee! Nice throw! He's doing it! He's eating a tire! Amazing! Astounding! Boring! Well, looks like it's another wipeout for Gonzo. Ah, uh, Yokos! <laughs> what do they know about art? <laughs> okay, and now for your amazement and confusion, the Muppet Show's resident weird person, Gonzo the Great, will grow a tomato plant whilst playing the 1812 Overture on the violin. Thank you, thank you. This is the tomato plant, and I am the gonzo. <laughs> this act may not last long. In fact, it's over. Well, they're going to be tied up for a while. And now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo has dug deep into his limitless repertoire and has come up with an act the likes of which has never been seen before. So let's give a big hand to the great Gonzo! Okay, thank you. Tonight, I present a unique version of Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, with a surprise ending. <laughs> before seen on this planet, the great Gonzo will attempt to wrestle a six-pound red brick while completely blindfolded. never seen before. Uh, the great Gonzo will perform on bagpipes the Ina Kleina knock music from a flagpole ten feet in the air. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Gonzo should quit while he's alive. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey uh, Kermit wants me to do the next introduction. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Well, he's the only one who does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on, guys. No heckling. I mean, I'm not even out here to tell jokes. Have you ever been? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that that bear is funny. You're right. In fact, I never enjoyed you more than I did last week. Hmm. Oh, th well, I, I didn't do an act last week. I rest my case. No! Let me go! Ladies and gentlemen, here is Gonzo the Great with a trumpet solo, Flight of the Bumblebee. That does it, I'm leaving.
ladies and gentlemen, in a major feat of death-defying intellectualism never seen before, uh, the great Gonzo will recite Shakespeare while suspended by his nose from a feather boa nine feet in the air. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Merchant of Venice, Act One, Scene One. Antonio speaks. In sooth, I know not why I am so sad. It wearies me. You say, sir. Ah, 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 phew. And now, to appease the intellectuals of our audience, the great Gonzo will catch a cannonball with his bare hand as fired from a muzzle loading cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Thank you! The great Gonzo! The bare hand! The muzzle loading cannon! The lovely assistant, Crazy Harry! <laughs> Complete silence from the audience for this act. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, fire! It's okay, everything is fine, folks. Gonzo merely got knocked off stage by the impact, but I think. Yes, he caught the cannonball! Well, I've seen my share of cannonball catching acts, but that had something different. What was that? A survivor. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo, in a master feat of mathematical dexterity... Um, is, is he ready back there? Uh, no, no. Ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, the great Gonzo, in a master feat of mathematical dexterity, will recite the seven times multiplication table while balancing a piano and standing in a hammock. The great Gonzo! <laughs> seven times one is, uh, seven. Seven times two is, uh, seventeen. <laughs> suited Gonzo. It did? Yep, suited him right down to the ground. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in his premiere presentation of Immortal uh, Perfection, otherwise known as Rank Stupidity, uh, the, the great Gonzo will yodel Rimsky-Korsakov while riding on a motorized pogo stick. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Oh, howdy, hi. Thank you very much, Jim. I love your songs. Here it comes. <laughs> yo, yo, lady who? Yo, lady, lady, lady. Your own, and you're welcome to him, Gonzo the Great. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! And now, students of the occult, I shall demonstrate my amazing powers of hypnosis. I shall place a member of the audience in a trance, aided only by the mysterious strength of hypnotic suggestion, my subject will support with only one hand this 5,000 pound weight. <laughs> Who will be the first lucky volunteer? <laughs> well, it's just a question of mind over matter. That's right, you don't mind and we don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you live to regret this? We intend to. <laughs> I just don't understand you people. Immortality is up for grabs. <laughs> but you don't deserve it. No, but you do. <laughs> what a terrific idea. I'll hypnotize myself. I'll go down in history. <clears throat> Look deep into my eyes. 
Make my mind a complete blank. My eyelids are getting heavy. I am falling into my power. When I count three, I will have the strength of an army. One, two, three. the ropes! That's very impressive, but how do you get out of it? It's simple! I just snap my fingers! <laughs> hey, Kermit! It went terrific! He says it went terrific, but I know how he really feels. How's that? About so high. <laughs> okay, now I have a real treat for all you fear and culture lovers. <clears throat> uh, it's time once again for Gonzo the Great. Uh, Gonzo apparently has a real crazy act tonight. He won't even tell me what it is, but I do have this message. We have to ask for complete and total silence from everyone. Shh. And now, Gonzo the Great. Thank you, thank you. I must have complete silence for this act, please. <clears throat> thank you. I shall now recite from the works of Percy Bysshe Shelley while, and at the same time, defusing this high-explosive bomb. <sighs> Bird that. Bird thou never wert. That from heaven or near it, pressed thy full heart in profuse strains of unpremeditated art. <laughs> Uh, hey, I don't have to lean on anybody. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo will now shoot himself heavenward in a catapult and skywrite the Hallelujah Chorus. Good grief. <laughs> Liebestrom while dueling a giant crab. Thank you, culture fans. And now, classical music meets seafood. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is too violent for family show. Uh, uh, it's only a flesh wound. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, there is no way we will ever replace Gonzo the Great. You tell him, Kermit. But that doesn't mean we won't try. Yes, the man who plans to fill Gonzo's shoes is even now standing in the wings. Later, Camilla, you cute little doll. I gotta go on stage now. Uh, so here he is now, ladies and gentlemen, Trevor the Gross! Thank you, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, Trevor the Gross, will now sing Top Hat while tap dancing in this vat of oatmeal. That does it! What's All this? right, stop! You can steal my job, you can steal my girlfriend, but you cannot have my oatmeal dance! Gonzo, will you get off the stage? No! Uh, close the curtain! Close the curtain! Close the curtain! Uh, 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 Gonzo, what is this all about? Uh, uh, my film deal fell through, but I'm willing to accept my old position back. Yeah, but Gonzo... Oh, please, Kermit, kiss, kiss, grovel, grovel. Uh, stop kissing my flipper, Gonzo! Have you no dignity? Of course not! How long have we worked together? Uh, uh, hi, uh, listen, everything's just all right. Uh, uh, come it, do something. They're getting mean out there. Yeah, but listen, I, I promised the oatmeal act to Trevor. That's right, and I won't give it up. I love the oatmeal act. Sick em, girls! What? what? No, hey, uh, stop! Uh, wait, no, no, wait, get up! Oh, wait, get up. You can have the oatmeal act. Oh, I guess it's yeah. time. Gonzo, you get ready. I'll go introduce you. Yippee! <laughs> Uh, uh, may I have your attention, please? I'm sorry for the delay. I'm happy to announce the return engagement of Gonzo the Great. Are you ready back there, Gonzo? Okay. Uh, okay. Who will sing Top Hat while tap dancing in a vat of oatmeal and yelling, Gonzo the Great? Yeah! Oh. Putting on my top hat. Tying up my white tie. Dusting off my two little... <laughs> Wait, wait, he, he sank into the oatmeal. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We got spoons and milk and brown sugar. Yeah, we're gonna eat our way through to him. <laughs> close the curtain, close the curtain. What are they doing with those spoons? Scraping the bottom of the barrel. Mm, I'm not surprised. That's how they get all their acts. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This evening, I will perform a feat of lunatic daring. <laughs> Before your very eyes, I will ride this motorcycle up this ramp and jump directly into that box, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. What? Oh, I can assure you, you'll be in no danger. You're right. We'll be in Chicago. <laughs> For their own safety, uh, while they were dozing, I took the precaution of chaining them to their chairs. What? <laughs> <laughs> On my mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> For the second time this evening, the great Gonzo will attempt a motorcycle jump off of this stage into that box up there, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. We're not afraid. We know Gonzo. If at first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. <laughs> <laughs> and so here he is now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready, Kermit. Yeah, I'm introducing you. Introduce fast. I'm really ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo. <laughs> There, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh. You know, this show's beginning to roll. So's the motorbike. <laughs>